Hey guys, it's Adam. And I'm Matt. And this is Behind the Box. Hey guys, we're actually here with another Behind the Box for the 1980s BAM Box, which was for June 2016. So we're gonna crack this thing open and we're gonna show you what's inside the box if you missed it and we're gonna tell you why we put that stuff in there, right? Yes, and so spoilers for those of you uh, that have, somehow have not seen this or don't wanna see this or haven't opened up your box. Beware. Beware. We, we're gonna spoil the everything inside of you. Yes, so we are. Watch out. All right. So let's just crack this thing open and see what we got with this BAM box. So when you open up your BAM box, Ooh. you're gonna see that we actually redid the packaging last month. Mm -hmm. That way we can actually start showing you our new pins. We do yes. band pins now. So this month, it's definitely my favorite so far. We've done two and this one, I love it immediately. <laughs> we did a uh, truffle shuffle pin and this thing is gorgeous. It's so goofy, so radical, very 80s, you yes. know? Uh, and the colors just capture that weird gnarliness perfectly. Yep. So we uh, we did it in this the standard variant, which I absolutely adore. And then we actually did our one up, which was yeah. a gold and black variant. So if you got one of these, you're very, very lucky because they're yep. limited. I didn't even get one, so <laughs> they're very limited. I don't even have one. Yeah, so I don't even have one. What's going on? I know. We just we both pulled the standard <laughs> ones. I'm still happy with it because it's rad. Yeah. But um, so can you tell us a little bit about uh, where you got the idea for this and who actually designed the pin this month? Yeah, so um, really, really awesome. Pull, let's pull the backs off of those ones. So I, I mentioned this in the last video. If you if you didn't know uh, or haven't seen this or you're new to Bambox, um, the back of all of our pins that are the variant, the gold and black variants, are actually numbered. What what, what number is that one? Is that this one's a 91, 91 out of 250. Yeah, so we're numbered them out of 250. So there's, they're actually a limited run and the number is on there so you know which number you've got. So, um, love the truffle shuffle. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was born in 1980, so uh, <laughs> in March of 1980. So I, uh, I love the 80s. I've always loved the 80s. And when we even set out um, the whole year, mm -hmm. this was the one I was like just crazy stoked about. Dude, I have, I've 80s, been waiting man. for the 80s box to hit, and mm -hmm. so um, had a lot of ideas about it. Was really excited. Uh, Nick Kokoza is the the pin designer this month, mm -hmm. uh, and he is out of Berlin, Germany. And just an awesome, 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 awesome guy. Awesome. Very, very cool style of art. You're mm -hmm. super into art. Mm -hmm. um, and you see a lot of the stuff that he's done. Just really, really good. Really, really cool style. And I, so I, I remember approaching him and going, hey, here's my thought. I want Truffle Shuffle, but I want it in your <laughs> style. Then he's like, all right. So he, we went back and forth a little bit on some of the designs. And he's like, hold on. I have an idea, let me see if it works, and came back with this. And even if you just look at the detail uh, in this of the, the little leaves mm -hmm. and like in, in, in Chunk shirt is just incredible. The green around it, all the His coloring. Belly, you can see the, the belly, belly movement. Oh, it's oh, it's just, just so awesome. So uh, this was a really, really fun pin and Nick knocked it out of the park. We're trying to do um, a, a different designer mm -hmm. every single month, mm -hmm. but th I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw a little spoiler out here for for the Galactic uh -oh. box. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. You, gotta, you see, you gotta watch behind the box. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> You're gonna get spoilers, guys. That's right. Uh, we're bringing Nick back. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we we had we were gonna do another pin designer, and people just love. I mean, we got so much great feedback on the Truffle Shuffle pin that I called Nick up and I'm like, hey man, I have one more idea mm -hmm. for next month and it's and it's different. It's something that we haven't done before when it comes to, it just, it's just band boxes, what we do. Constantly surprising you guys. So Nick is back and it's gonna awesome. be a really awesome pin next month. So these were great and I love the, the black and gold variant. The variant is so sick. Just so, so sick. So uh, yeah, there's our band pins. He's definitely welcome back because those pins are ridiculous. Yeah. I've, I've seen so many people going crazy oh, already yeah. online. Because the pin game is ridiculous. It is. It is. So. I, I think I got one on this. You do? Yeah, there it is. You got it right there. Everyone's loving that pin game now, so. Bam! All right, guys, so the next item in the band box is underneath our little sleeve here. And, uh, oh, oh, spoilers, spoilers. Just pull out that card. Uh, we're going to pull out this card first. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Yes. So we do contests every single month here at the band box. And of course, we did an 80s contest. It's beautifully designed. And uh, it says, win this. And this right here is actually Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two NES cartridge signed with a sketch on it by Kevin Eastman himself. So if you guys don't know who Kevin Eastman is. Yeah, he's a co-creator of Ninja Turtles. He's pretty important. Yeah, I mean, this guy's pretty huge in yeah. pop culture history. So it, it's Kevin Eastman, he's yeah. pretty important. So we're actually gonna be giving this away here. Yeah. All you have to do is take a picture with 
your favorite item in your BAM box and post it online before July 8th. Which Hashtag is, the BAM box in it. Which is really soon, guys. Yes. You need to do this. Yes. And you can win this NES cartridge signed and sketched on by Kevin Eastman. How cool. An NES cartridge with Dude. a signature and a sketch comes with a PSA, COA. DNA, COA uh, that's started right there. I mean, this is just such a cool giveaway. That's right? a cool like, piece. You can either play it or you can put it on the shelf. Right, yeah. And, <laughs> and it actually it does work. Oh, it does? Yeah. It, it does work. It, we, it, we, we, be careful with the signature. We haven't tested but. out before we did the signing, anything signing with him. We, we had a Nintendo and tested some of them out, so. There you go. Next item in our box here is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I've said it numerous times already. I've said it numerous times, but I feel like these sweet shades are right yes. here. Yes. I feel like I should be on a ski slope trying to battle someone <laughs> for like the hottest chick in town. I don't I don't know. It's just they seem so ridiculous. They're they're crazy. Devo sunglasses, right? So this is that I mean this is it. This is we have to put a clip of Devo in. Um, these are yeah, these are just awesome. The fish the fish tail yep. on the on the on the actual uh dude uh, the laser the, the glasses Beautiful. here and just like that. Just on the bridge of the nose, just futuristic shades. Well done with people who just like put them on. And we watched Take a lot of the unboxing videos. So many just, people wearing them. Just sitting there wearing them. Mm -hmm. I've I've worn them out. Um, my 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 kids love them. Mm -hmm. Like wear them as if this is 1984, and <laughs> it's they the totally know what's going on. They're going so. to ski school, man. That's I know. It. Uh, but yeah, this was just this is again 80s. When I, when I when, yeah, when I think of the 1980s, fashion is such a huge part of it, mm -hmm. and so it's you know, it's kind of hard. It's like, what can we put in that would that would be able to represent the 80s in a way that that, that made some sort of sense? We didn't want to do shirts. We didn't want to try to go that whole route. No. And so it was like 80s sunglasses. I mean, it's one of the things that I remember. Shades, man. The shades were mm -hmm. where it was. I mean, and, and I had older brothers who still have some of the like original 80s shades, and I can remember one of the one of the things when we came up with the idea. I, I don't know if they even do this in school anymore, but we would sell I think candy bars or mm -hmm. chocolate bars something like that. Oh, I remember doing yeah. And and and, and we get you know prizes if you know depending on how much you sold. Mm -hmm. And all I wanted was this pair of 1980 sunglasses. <laughs> and man, I I pushed chocolate like no kid Just was pushing chocolate. chocolate. I was man <laughs> like crazy in like second grade. Mm -hmm. I needed to get these shades, mm -hmm. and so it, it, they're very reminiscent of this. Of that. And so I was uh, I was pretty excited to see these. Pop back up uh, in the in the band box office. So those are definitely yeah. futuristic. I've seen yeah. like he, like Adam mentioned a lot of people online on Instagram, Twitter, yeah. and on their YouTube videos. Even some people streaming. I know definitely people streaming wear those sunglasses. Yep. So it's just so goofy, <laughs> but it just ties the theme together. It does, and it's just fun, is right? fun, man. Yeah, it's just exactly. Fun. And then actually, our next item kind of goes hand in hand with that because when yes. I think of goofy shades yep. and just weirdness and style like that, I think of Back to the Future. Yeah. And Back to the Future to me just holds such a magical place in my heart. Yeah. I mean, this guy right here, like dog uh, dog name, uh, Marty McFly, and exactly. like I just got like everything <laughs> Back to the Future. If I wasn't getting a Tesla next year, I'd be getting a DeLorean. So <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my that's my DeLorean for sure. But when it comes to Back to the Future. You have to think of the DeLorean, like I mentioned. Absolutely. And what better way to represent that than a prop replica of the license plate. And yep. that's actually what we did this month, is we put a prop replica in every single box. So, we're gonna show you here. We gave everyone one of these. Yeah. So, th this is awesome, because it's the classic yeah. out of time license plate. So you either got this one, or if you got the one up, you got this one. This, this wasn't even a one-up. This was just a... Oh, really? Yeah, it's just, you just got one or the other. Wow. Well, yeah. then, you must, you must have got one or the other. <laughs> like, which is awesome, because a lot of people didn't realize what the barcode one was. Oh, which blows my mind. Yeah, because it's freaking amazing. It's You, you, you see these, mm -hmm. but you rarely You rarely see, see these. these. So, if you guys don't know what this one is, this is actually directly out of Back to the Future 2. Yep. Um, when, yeah, when they go to the future, this is what Doc has on the car when he pulls up to Marty's house and steals him and Jennifer. And it's so awesome that... We could actually put this in every single box, whether you got this one or this yeah. one. I know a few friends that actually got the out of time one that want to trade me for my barcode, and it's it's <laughs> not happening. It's like, not. Sorry. No, no, sorry. sorry. Back to Future Two. It's cheesy. I love it. So. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, we put these in every box, and this I, was a, this is like such a great one. And and here here's why I love this. Again, it, it, our philosophy. We have a lot of internal philosophies that are here when we're putting these boxes together. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're talking about. What what would arrive on our doorstep that we would be really excited to, to open up? And so, is it cool to get a little plastic out of time like replica thing, maybe a keychain or something like that, which we've seen? Yeah, I mean, I think for a lot of people it it's is, cool. but, but it's like, no, 
I, I want to give you an actual mm -hmm. license plate that you could put on your car that you could display up on the wall, on the wall. that, I mean, so many people have been sending in pictures of like their Back to the Future um, kind of setups that they have, that we, whether they have some Funkos and some other things, some mm -hmm. sign pieces, and then bam, right, right there. there in the middle of it is now, this is so, it's, it's so cool, it's, and it's a legitimate, this license is like plate. a legitimate prop replica license plate mm -hmm. from a prop replica license plate company. So mm -hmm. um, we didn't want to give something that was just, again, anything that, that kind of felt like, eh, okay. We wanted people to open this and be like, what? Yep. And I this think, is a substantial collectible right Yes. Here. Like this is something you want to display. And like like Adam just mentioned, seeing people put these things up in like their office cubicles and like at home with their collections. Yeah, yeah. Makes me, mine's going up with my collection. So like, <laughs> it just makes me happy that it's going to be on the wall next to all my Back to the Future stuff. Yeah, so. man. Okay, so the next item in the band box here is actually going to be cardboard. Just kidding. So in Cardboard 2. Yeah, cardboard 2. Um, so here we go. With this actually inside of every single one of these cardboard tubes that we sent out to you guys, was a very very unique piece. So yes. we sent out. What do we send out? This is this is crazy. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. This is a one of one sketch. And so I grabbed one for us to be able to do the video. Uh, huge He-Man fan. My name is Adam. So I I just didn't know many Adams back in the like early '80s for mm -hmm. whatever reason. At least in the town I grew up in. So. Prince Adam, mm -hmm. like to have like, a cartoon character Prince with that Adam. name was like just amazing. So I, I was a huge He-Man fan. And he was badass. And he was a total badass. <laughs> okay. So, um, and and this and he, this is what's so great about this. So you, you know now we everything has gone digital, and with that we lose a piece of history, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and and this is an actual piece of history. These are all really is. hand drawn original pencil sketches that then went into the production of the animation mm -hmm. of all of these cartoons. So it literally is one of one. There is not another one of these in the entire world. Mm -hmm. So what we wanted to do was to blow your minds and that and, and seeing your reactions, uh, I think that we did it uh, because that was something that we really set out to do is go, how can we give our bammers something that is so unique, so crazy that they would be like, Oh, you're kidding me! Exactly, and and that's what we did. So we, we 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 partnered with Animation Inc. Archives. Uh, John is a is a great friend. He's an amazing guy. He's got a, an actual passion for this, and that is so important for us. We're passionate about this box, and and I, and I really hope that that comes through. Everyone that's here, that's part of the Bandbox staff, that is us. We all are passionate about what goes into this box, mm -hmm. and the people that we work with. It's important that they're passionate about what they're doing oh, as well. We, 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 there's so many people that we've, we've, we've tried to work with or items that we've tried to get that we weren't able to because when we actually started interacting with those people, we realized that they just didn't care. And for whatever reason, that matters to us here oh, at the absolutely. Bandbox, that John cares about this. I mean, th this guy, I've been on the phone with him. He goes, hey, I got, I got, a, I got a phone call. I'll call you right back. Calls me right back. He's like, hey, I got to get you on a plane to Canada. They're about to destroy uh, an entire two seasons of X-Men, uh, and they're, they're about to destroy them all, and I, I'm flying right now. I'm going to the airport, I'm buying a plane ticket, I'm flying to Canada, I'm flying to wherever, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm going to get these. Nice. Because he wants to preserve this, this and oh, actually absolutely. be able to give to people. So that's what we did, and, and John's an awesome guy, and we were able to put a one-of-one -one sketch in every single box this month. Which is absolutely insane. Yeah. We actually did quite a few different cartoons that were actually included yep. in here. So we did He-Man, so yep. Masters of the Universe. We did She-Ra. Yeah. Uh, Real Ghostbusters. Yep. We did Back to the Future. Oh yeah. Uh, Ewoks. Yeah, did Star Wars Ewoks, Star Wars Droids. Star Wars Droids. And My Pet Monster. My Pet Monster. Which was like, uh, <laughs> nice. I, I had to put that one in there. So I hope that there, if there are some of you out there who actually remember My Pet Monster, Please throw me some shout outs in the comments because yep. I went crazy when those came in. <laughs> I mean, I love He-Man, I love She-Ra, Alvin and the Chipmunks was the other Alvin one that we did. Mm -hmm. Love all those guys, but when My Pet Monster came in, I was like, <laughs> I, I, I was freaking out. I, I have a couple of framed ones myself, so. <laughs> nice. uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta let me know. There's, I know that there's some of you out there who there's remember. There's gotta be a fan out yeah, there Yeah, there is, sure. somewhere. But um, yeah, so we actually included a COA with every yep. single one of these this month, and they're, they're signed and stamped and everything, and it's just... Yep. Si it's, John, John signed all of them, yeah. Which is crazy. So. These are legitimate guys. Um, please be careful with them. Frame them. Do yeah. whatever you need to do. We've seen a ton of you guys on Instagram and Twitter already like framing these things, and yeah. it makes us so happy to yes. see it. People getting things that they're passionate about. Like yeah. 
I've seen a couple Slimers out there, and a yep. couple Docks, and like it makes yeah. me so happy to see some really cool that. either some great Ewok. Dude, there's ones. some great Ewok. Yeah, ones really, out really there. great ones. Very, very cool. And again, my pet monster. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, my pet monster friends out there said I just went. Yeah, just that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but still, really awesome. Um, but yeah, so we did this for every single box this yeah. month, and we hope you guys really enjoyed these original sketches. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we always do an art print every single month. Yep. And this month's art print means a lot to us because we got to work with a fantastic artist yes. who happens to be the master of the 80s style, I think. The absolute the, the master. master. Yeah, like, absolutely. So we worked with Rocky Davies this month, and if you guys see his art, you're gonna already know who this is because yep. he's been on so many of those t-shirt sites and yep. all over the internet. Yep. Fantastic guy. Yep. So we actually got exclusive prints made from Rocky Davies of Slimer. <laughs> we got Ghostbuster prints <laughs> made. And so he hasn't done Slimer yet and he did it for us. Yeah. And this is so sick. So this is number uh, 1544 to 1999. So it's exclusive and signed by Rocky Davies and it's super badass. Yeah. It's Slimer, it's colorful, it's beautiful. That's not it though. That isn't it. What do we offer people? Because this, this is the first month, and it'll be an ongoing thing now. This is the first month that we actually added the one up card for the variant art print. Exactly. All, so, all of this bad boy. So we offered a variant art print, and this is the limited one, and it's just as gorgeous. And it's, of course, from Rocky Davies. So yes. this is the Ecto Cooler variant, and oh. this one is so <laughs> radical in so many ways. So he's got the classic Ecto Cooler in his hand, but if it's you guys Slimer look drinking Slimer, man. It's, it's, it's Slimer <laughs> drinking Slimer, for sure. And if you look close enough, it says BAM instead of Ecto Cooler on there, yeah. so... Shout out to Rocky. Dude, let's Dude just, Rocky's the man. Uh, he, I just want to say, you guys, th this is one of the most genuine people that I've ever interacted with. Mm -hmm. We, like, we adore Rocky Davies. You're, you, the Predator shirt, which is absolutely one Dude, of my favorites. love it. I got the, one of the Doom shirts. Um, I, I just love his art and, and it doesn't stop here like he's an incredible artist yep and you're gonna see more of him so I don't want to spoil anything but but Rocky Davies is is part That's of Bandbox and that guy's here to stay he is amazing you guys have got to check out his work you got to follow him mm -hmm. on Instagram you want to follow him on Facebook he is an incredible incredible artist but it, but an incredible incredible guy he's super cool just super cool super humble mm -hmm. has like the ultimate man cave which you saw some of the, some of the <laughs> shots of the video that Dude, he did for ultimate us ultimate man cave like it is it's beyond. legitimately a man cave yeah it totally totally is and, and this guy he he was actually like raised during the 80s so he yep. actually he lived through the 80s and enjoyed the 80s yes. so he is the master of it and not only does he know a lot about the 80s but he can draw it pretty damn well oh man pretty damn well and he's that's it's great. The detail, like if you, I hope people took time to not go, oh cool, Slimer, put it to the side. The amount of detail that's in this art print, mm -hmm. from the slime coming out of, of Slimer on his tongue, to if the, he, glasses. the glasses that people missed that for sure. I know people didn't see mm -hmm. the, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you, if you, because you got a Slimer print, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. go look inside the glasses and see what he put inside there. Just the, 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 and I never can remember what this thing's called. Oh, I always forget the where, name. Where they, where they set it down and, and uh, open it up and the traps for the ghosts. I can never remember the name of it, but there's just so much proton packs there, the like Ecto One down Ecto there. Ecto One down there. It's so cool. Pizza, like it just it just screams. Hey, he's got the Wayfarer sunglasses. I had this hat. <laughs> I for real had this hat. And you know where I got it? I I, I I I have a pretty strong memory. I hope that I'm right. I remember getting it at, at a Wendy's, like sometime in like the mid '80s. I have this like I have what? this. This some sort of memory that's floating around in there of going to Wendy's with my older brother and my sister and getting a frosty mm -hmm. and uh, and like a kid's meal and getting a hat that had the checkered and the pink on it. What from Wendy's? From Wendy's and it was like one of like the short bill like flip up hats yeah, like yeah. from the eighties. So I don't know maybe maybe, maybe someone out there would be like oh I remember those but um, I, I as crazy. soon as I saw it, that's the first memory that hit so I, I, I had that hat. Yeah. So this Rocky Davies man just. Absolutely knocking it out of the park. Like, Incredible. This is seriously one of the coolest prints mm -hmm. that we've done so far. Yeah. And I just can't say enough good things about this guy. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Rocky is incredible. Rocky, we love you, man. Yeah, and, we love uh, you, man. We love your artwork. I'm going to uh, keep buying whatever you put out. Yep. It's it's great. Yep. The style is amazing. Dude. And excited to see more Rocky Davies as more part of the Bam Box in the future. So Possible uh, spoiler. Hey, oh. You're in on the spoilers, guys. <laughs> All right, so the final thing in the in the band box this month is pretty awesome. Pretty crazy. Um, pretty crazy. So Let, can I set it up? You can set it up. I, set, I, it, I, set it up. Set it up. You I, know what's up? I love this. I love the story behind this. Oh, one. absolutely. So we are. Um, we we knew that we were going to do a signing with this person, 
uh, and it was obviously iconic. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one of the most, and we, and, we, and we had actually leaked this time. Mm -hmm. We leaked out that there was going to be a major 80s movie star that we were doing a signing with. Um, that's totally a major 80s movie star. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were really excited, and we knew that we were going to do it for the 1 in 10. And we were all sitting around, and we're talking, and we start thinking, like, what if? Are there ways for us to move things around so that we didn't, it, we just felt like we didn't want it to just be one in 10. We wanted all of you guys to get one. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, and, and we were all unanimous, like let's, we, we gotta start pressing. So we reached out to Ralph and said, hey, w would you be willing to do this number of them? And I wanna tell you guys, he's never done that. He's never, as many as he signed for the band box, He's never, ever, ever signed that many in a setting. Not at a con, mm -hmm. not at not at any event, anything. He did that for the band box. Oh yeah. And and it and it was, I mean, just incredible. So I'm in San Diego mm -hmm. with my family to do a little vacation before the crazy hits. <laughs> and I and I, I call you up and I'm like, hey man, I, I'm not gonna make it back in time and, and ask like the most horrendous favor <laughs> in the world from you. Would you please go hang with Ralph Macchio? Uh, and 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 be there during this. So I'll let you take it over because I'm still I'm still jealous. <laughs> so yeah, it, totally true. He sent me to go meet Ralph Macchio by myself for the signing, which I was so nervous because, <laughs> as you know, Ralph Macchio is the Karate but Kid. But not just Karate Kid. He's not just the Karate Kid. For me, I personally like the Outsiders a <laughs> lot. So Ralph Huge Macchio, fan. yeah, Ralph Macchio is the man. So we you know went out there and he seriously signed. A ton of these <laughs> yeah. just for the band box. I was there listening to his stories, which he's a great guy. So many fun stories. Seriously, just such a nice guy. Yeah. And he hand signed every single one of these Karate Kid prints for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we when we sat down and we started thinking about the different photos, like what are we going to do? It was obvious. We had <laughs> we had to do the crane kick. It's right? the crane kick. And we man, had to do iconic. the crane kick. I I still remember. I remember. On an old VCR at a at a this is like before there was even Blockbuster, okay? <laughs> this is before there were chain movie stores. We had a s small. I remember it was John and Lisa. I, I don't remember their last name, but they were the owners of our little video store in the town wow. that I grew up in. We would go. We went in and we would we rented. I remember renting the Karate Kid, putting in our VCR. That took us about 45 minutes. It felt like to get the thing to start because it just never ever worked right. And this wasn't even like one of the nice like front loading VCRs. It was a top this loader. A top loader. Top loader. Oh man, that thing was just a beast. So, <laughs> yep. and I remember watching this movie. Then I went out into the front yard and I kicked so much <laughs> imaginary ass. It was incredible. I was like in a full on. I I, I was mm -hmm. Daniel Larusso, man. Oh yeah. In the front yard, living it up, crane kicking. I got told so many times I can't kick my friends. I can't kick my sister. I can't kick. You could kick trees. That was it. Because. Any anybody who saw this, mm -hmm. as, a, as especially as a young as a young boy, when you saw this movie, you believed you could do anything. Oh, absolutely! And that was that's some of the beauty. All jokes aside, from the '80s, that's some of the beauty of the '80s movies is that you just—they're magical. They are, man. They just got filled with like, like anybody can be anything. Dude, right? go Goonies, man. I know exactly. Like, I, I could find treasure <laughs> with my friends and yes. like, change everything. There's sloth. He's out there somewhere. <laughs> it's it just the '80s movies were just so beautiful. Yeah, they make you feel magical and they're, yeah. they're cheesy and campy, but like, I don't know. Like I mentioned before, our nostalgia spawns from the '80s. It does. It Everything totally we does. love, like about movies and, and comic books and cartoons, all yep. comes from the '80s. And, yep. Oh man, it just captured so well. It, it did. And to be able to put this, for you to be able to sit there with him and be able to put this in a box for you guys, I hope that mm -hmm. um, that you guys realize. And you know what, I'm actually going to take a second. I, I want to I talk about something. This is going off script a little bit for us. We realize that uh, there's a lot of unboxers um, and, and we, we adore you guys because you guys are honest, you're real, we're not paying you. These are, these are your, your, your real opinions and we've actually learned a lot we, this is our sixth box. Mm -hmm. We've learned a lot from you guys oh, in, yeah. in those six boxes that we've actually implemented. If you go back and watch some of the beginning unboxers, um, uh, Unboxing Rocks or uh, or Beardy Nerd, you know, you, you watch some of them and they, they gave us advice and we took it because we want to create an amazing box for you guys. We also realize that in the scheme of, uh, of unboxing videos, and, and, and not just that, but people in general are trying to place a value on the band box. And it's incredibly hard because, especially if you don't understand 
um, the value of one-of-a-kind items or the value of, of autographs mm -hmm. and, and, and some of the things that we've done are uh, or, 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 or creating a variant and a pin and that somehow having more value than the other one even if you might like the color one better I want to kind of break this box down if we can oh yeah and, and say hey if you were to go out and do this mm -hmm. here here's I, we, we're never gonna put a value to stuff uh, but I want to tell you what you can expect so you can kind of get an idea of the value of what's really in the band box because I want you to know what we're what we're bringing to you guys month after month is it really holds a ton of value from a collectability standpoint. Ralph Macchio, uh, if you were to go to a Comic-Con uh, in your city and you were to get a, a go up and get an item signed by Ralph Macchio, on the low end, you're looking at about 40 to $45. Absolutely. Uh, on the high end, maybe 65, 75, 85, I've seen it up as high as that at different cons. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's often without you even uh, being able to have anything. You'd have to bring something to get signed or you have to buy a photo and that photo is very expensive that, that's there. Mm -hmm. um, and and what how that works as a con is bringing in these different celebrities and then the, the Comic-Con is guaranteeing them a, a certain amount of, of dollars uh, regardless of how many signatures actually happen or not. And because they're guaranteeing that amount, a con can actually, because they, they know that that celebrity is going to be a pull and a draw for them, they're able to, to fluctuate in how much they're actually charging for that signature. But it, it, even if you see one of these on eBay that goes for 10 or $15, that is, that, that, first off, get it. Mm -hmm. and, and then hold on to the thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, it, it, it does not happen. Signatures from, from celebrities, now obviously Ralph Macchio is a, is a very well-known celebrity, so let's take him for an example. Mm -hmm. You could easily go on eBay and start, and, and some of the autograph sites that we know that we shop at with Comic-Con Auction and with some other partners that we have in the industry, I mean, some of these are going for over $100, and oh, people yeah. are paying them like this. It just kind of depends on where it is that you're, you're finding them. Uh, Tony Todd from last month, mm -hmm. who isn't maybe as well known, uh, but incredibly iconic. He's iconic, um, for sure. incredibly iconic, and and but a voiceover for Zoom, and you know a lot of people are like, what is that worth? Like five or ten dollars? There's just there's just no way you could ever approach uh, Tony Todd. Number one, the only time you're ever going to be able to really get an autograph from him is actually at probably a comic convention of, mm -hmm. of some sort. And there's no way that you're ever going to be able to get it that cheap. No, uh, like at that's all. not possible. Uh, ju just not possible. I mean, and he, even he on the low end is going to be $25, you mm -hmm. know, $20, $25. Just and for it, the signing without an item. Just for the signing mm -hmm. without an item. And it's awesome that you're able to meet that celebrity or sit there and have that moment with them to sign. I love that. What oh, we're trying fun. to do is to bring that experience to you the best that we can, because we obviously can't bring them, but bring that experience <laughs> to you guys in a box every single month. An art print like this from Rocky Davies. What you're talking about are two exclusive art prints, meaning that these won't ever go into production at all. This was done specifically for us. There's 1,999 of this one, and of this one, and there's 500 of this one. So 2,500 roughly of, of these art prints. Um, there are not ever going to be more of these. This is it, like this is done. So it's number one, it's, it's incredibly limited. And number two, it's an actual exclusive, meaning that this isn't something that Rocky has up at a comic convention that you can go up and buy. This is solely done for Bambox, mm -hmm. and there's a limited run of these. So if, if, if you went to a comic convention, you and I go to them a bunch, we, we love art, we, we talk to a lot of the different artists that are out there. We, I mean, all these artists that we've done work with, we know these are, these are guys that are friends. So if we went and asked them to do an exclusive art print for us there at the con mm -hmm. now granted that that's a that's a one of one or even let's say they oh, have yeah. an exclusive that did that they did for that con that maybe they're going to sell five six seven hundred a thousand of them that are there mm -hmm. i i haven't seen them below thirty dollars never like no. ever right no no so it'll be about like 25 or 30 bucks for an exclusive or like if you do commissions at conventions which is super awesome that artists do uh, yeah i love that those generally start at 50 bucks and go up. Right. I mean, and it takes some time because they have to hand draw it, which is right. a cool experience. It is, way. yeah, very but cool. They generally start at about 30 to 50 bucks. Yeah, and so that's that's the value of when you're getting an art print like this. Now, is is there is there does that change and fluctuate with, with the artist? Absolutely. There are some artists, we did Jay Lee, we did Rocky Davies. Some of these guys are a lot more well known than maybe say uh, Rick Martin, who we had last month, who's an incredible artist, but maybe just doesn't ha isn't in the comic convention world, so he doesn't have that same kind of draw as far as people knowing him. Absolutely, like that's absolutely true. But but what you're, what you're holding on to is something that has a ton of value. This is a one of one sketch. Um, and, and all of these are really hard to put a, a dollar amount to. 
yeah, you might find somebody who's selling a sketch or two for like five, ten dollars. But if you find a good sketch like this one right here is, I mean, so these these are on the low end, twenty five, thirty dollars, ranging all the way up. We we were looking at them over a hundred bucks a pop, because again, it's one of one, and 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 part of it is trying to put a, a dollar value to something that isn't. It's not like we did a Funko that everybody gets and everybody can get and everyone can go in and get. It's easy to put a dollar amount to something like that. It is difficult for this because of the fact that it is absolutely, genuinely one of a kind. You find the right person or the right group of people and put this in front of them and they're gonna pay a lot of money for something like this because oh, yeah. it has an intrinsic value to them. So I just wanted I wanted to, to address that because a lot of people, that, that question comes flooding in um, through our, so, uh, our support tickets. Maddie is constantly going, hey, how do I answer this? How do I answer this? How do I answer this? So let, let me let me pop it into one of our behind the boxes so that you guys understand like getting getting uh, a rough macho print or a photo like this signed is something that he's never done before. He's never done a signing of this magnitude and he did it for Bandbox. So there's, there's just a lot that goes into this just being uh, that Ralph Macchio karate kid guy, you can get him kind of anywhere. You can, that, that, that just isn't the case. There might be moments that, that, that you can get photos of different items for lower, but for the most part, mm -hmm. when you're talking about a long-term collectible item like this is, an autograph is going to hold value. Uh, just ask everybody who had a Muhammad Ali, um, rest in peace, like just one of the mm -hmm. most iconic sports icons of our lifetime passing away. And I, I have a bunch of friends who have huge uh, memorabilia collections and they're all ease now. The value of them is, is insane because he's never gonna sign anything again, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 want, I want to throw that out there um, because I want you guys to understand what it is that kind of our reasoning and our mindset behind the signed autographed items, the one of a kind items, the exclusive items, the numbered items that we're putting in the band box. Exactly. All right, guys, so that was actually our 1980s band box for June 2016. So please let us know what you guys think. We yeah. had a lot of fun doing this box. A lot of these items mean seriously a lot to us yep. because these are all things that we grew up enjoying and loving. And totally. we hope you enjoy and love them as well. Um, so yeah, July's theme is Galactic. Galactic. So we're super stoked about this one because um, Galactic. It's just go. It's just gonna be so awesome. There, so. there is there. Uh, it's one of those things. You're like, yeah, I, we want to talk about it, but we can't. There talk There's just it. some really, really, really cool things happening in this box. Exactly, and it's it's galactic. It's galactic. Yeah. That's the that best of us would have put it. Yeah. Hashtag galactic. But um, <laughs> yeah, if you guys like our stuff, of course you're following us on YouTube and Facebook right now. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at the Bam Box. Yes. Just. Uh, let us know what you think, post pictures of the stuff you love, have fun with it, we're enjoying this, and we want to see you on the Bambox community because we love chatting it up with you guys. Yes, absolutely, and make sure any of these items that you guys wanting to trade, there's people on there right now that, well, hey, I got this cartoon, I like that cartoon, so if there's any trade swapping, go to thebambox.com slash community, sign up there and you guys get part of the trading community, you definitely, definitely don't want to miss out on that. Exactly. So yeah, we will be back next month with another Behind the Box, and of course we'll keep posting little snippets of information on the internet. So uh, I'm Matt. I'm Adam, until next time. Keep collecting guys, bye.